Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Right around 2 p.m., I'm watching the water for signs of fish so that I can throw a cast net and get Eugene a good meal. If you're new to the channel, Eugene is our uh, mascot, a blue heron. And a lot of us locals will throw him a fish or two, or three, or four, or five throughout the day. Welcome to Rockport, Texas, guys. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button or thumbs down. And above all, you ready for this? Hey, my friend Kathy, roll my intro. There's Eugene, and even after four good-sized mullet, he's still going to hang around and see if I'm going to toss something else his way. It's a gorgeous day. If you get a chance to see Eugene up close, he has three red spots right on his chest. Real faded. Maybe an old injury going to start off by making a little late lunch and then uh, have the other half for dinner but I have a small can of corned beef hash a little barking dog in the back there I had a Roma tomato and uh, six large eggs and I kind of need to get rid of the eggs today because I don't think they're going to be good tomorrow so I just uh Put a little olive oil in the pan to coat it, make it easy to clean. Threw the hash in there, threw the eggs on top of that, stirred everything up with the tomatoes, added a little garlic salt. I didn't even add any uh, hot sauce or anything like that. Maybe I'll do it with the uh, leftovers at dinner time to make it a little different. And there's the boat going by. I don't think that's a long-billed curlew. Maybe a wimberl? Hmm, not sure. Eugene is just to the left of this guy, keeping an eye on him. The blue heron will usually run off. I believe this is a snowy egret. Or egret, E-G-R-E-T. I'm going to say egret. Just because I enjoy being wrong. But they're real common around here. They're a little skittish. The blue herring will hang out a little bit. Mooch from me and real fishermen. <laughs> Eugene's coming over to run him off. He didn't like that at all. I was really shocked when I first saw pigeons down here. I always thought they were a New York bird. <laughs> They're like cockroaches. They are everywhere. You know why leopards can't hide? Dolphin. Because they're always spotted. <laughs> Here comes Eugene. He took over the spot vacated by the egret. He's all full. He's just doing a little prepping for the camera. He didn't like that last joke. He took offense to it. You might even say he got his feathers ruffled. No? Leave the jokes to Siri, huh? Gotcha. <laughs> we have gotten some solid sunsets lately. Not spectacular, not 
eights or nines or tens, but we've had some solid sixes and sevens. Cooler temperatures. They're slowly going back up. The humidity is slowly going back up. So I think I got a trip to Port Aransas in me. Uh, that'll fit into my work schedule. And then I can go to the hill country for two days and maybe three days if I plan it correctly. And I do want to get up into the hill country and see some hills and find a little river or a stream. The perfect place for me would be one of those places that I always see on social media where people stick their chair in the water and your feet are in the water and you're just enjoying the view. And since it's Texas, we're going to not talk about alligators and water moccasins and <laughs> alligator gar and snapping turtles. We're, we're going to focus on a nice cool stream. This is, uh, we've been very fortunate lately. I'm trying to find different locations for you guys, different angles. But if you don't like sunsets, this is not your channel. <laughs> I'm going to expand my demographic and start drinking a beer at sunset. People seem to like alcohol. Alcohol and drama. That's how you get more views. And then I'll rent a different puppy every day and increase my uh, subscribers. That's my plan. It's my secret plan. Don't give it away to anybody. Yeah, last night was good sleeping. I, uh, I parked in a different spot than I usually uh, sleep at. And it was nice. So now that the cooler weather's here, and man, it's it's going to get hot and muggy again in a few days in this area. That's why I want to go to the hill country. But I'm going to sp start spending a few nights sleeping overnight on, right on the beach when the cool weather arrives and stays. It's uh, we're about two thirds of the way through October. And we're st still talking about heat and humidity. So I'm looking forward to uh Wow. That just stopped me mid sentence. What am I complaining about? Look at that. I'll work five unconventional jobs before I go back to a job where I, where I miss sunsets. And I'm catching sunrises too. I'm just, it's as I'm waking up and they're kind of for me. I could just take these sunsets and run them backwards and just say they're sunrises, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been spotting Eugene all over the place today. And he loves me. It's not just because I feed him a couple times a day. What I do like is he'll go look for his own food when there's not people around to mooch off of. There he is right there. So that's kind of cool. He still has his uh, blue heron skills. Guys, thanks for checking out the video tonight. I appreciate y'all. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. Thanks for watching. Everybody move. Everyone move out of the way. I don't like you. But I'm not going to lose any sleep if one of you winds up under my tires. Yeah, I stuttered. <laughs> Friggin' sea rats are giving me a hard time. All right, I see an opening there. Watch how many will just like walk in front of you. 
Get out of the way. Oh, look at the cute little birdie. Oh, What is he? What is he? Look at him. Freaking adorable. Look at him. Den -den 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 -den. <laughs> oh, man.